Oh, that's nice. This is nice habitat. And it's the habitat of Salvia darcii. I thought I was looking at it before. This is the true Salvia darcii, which is actually common in Texas horticulture. I think it was only discovered in 1991, but here it is. It's fucking great. See one, seeing one of your favorite plants in its native habitat. This is such a great species, and it does well in Texas too. Six foot tall hummingbird crack. Look at that. God damn. Ah, you know, I knew when I when I saw those tilted strata layers, this was going to be a good canyon. Ah, look at that. Look at that pubescence on the stem. Opposite leaves, decent sized petiole, and then those beautiful red flowers all right the the fucking herpers are waiting for me i can't be dicking around here look at that you got the get the hummus hummers hitting it right there but we got hunamania too which is like a perennial california poppy that's another fucking banger only occurs right on the rio grande just west of big bend in west texas Ooh, brachelia laciniata too and uh then more salvia darcii so now a little bit further down that road where we've seen the Salvia Darcii, now we're in a, a wonderful pine woodland. Everything draped in Tillandsius, Neoides, of course. We got Ferrocactus pilosus growing down there, growing in the gentle understory. A couple different agave species. We got agave, uh, this is the one they used to call Lofanta, which is, uh, I filmed a, growing in a beautiful road cut right outside. Is this Lofanta? Actually, this might be, I don't know, I mean, this isn't Lofanta. Lofanta, I filmed a nice, nice uh, Lofanta video growing on a road cut just outside of uh, San Anton. Right on, a, right on a freeway over there. This looks slightly like Lofanta. Those fucking teeth certainly do. Except it's missing that yellow stripe down the center. Who the fuck knows? For all the agave, for all the in-depth agave questions i go to uh my friend jeremy who's got a agave nursery in escondido but uh we got agave asperima we were seeing further down there which we also get in the rio grande valley and then seeing it in habitat here it's six thousand feet makes me realize it shouldn't even be growing in the valley and the only reason it's probably growing there is because it was transported centuries ago by uh, indigenous americans so what's this glabrous ass this Glabrous ass uh, plant right here. What is this? Is it a comp? Looks like it. Holy hell. Look at that. Jesus, take it easy, buddy. Oh, it does have that stripe. Yeah, there you go. So this along with this, Agave Univitata and Agave Asperima were probably brought to the Rio Grande Valley. Got Kinoclinium. Beautiful Dermatophyllum. Ah, uh, we got another salvia species. Ah, oh, it's fucking beautiful. Look at this. Ooh, purple, purple flowers. Fuzzy calices. We got pubescence on a stem and the calis. The sepals. And uh, there's the leaves. Slight petiole. Ooh, warty texture to the top of the leaf. Growing in the understory of the pines with the uh, agave univitata. There we go. There's agave asperima. See at the end, you get that weird little curve, that weird little hook right there on the end of those uh, those leaf blades. Yeah, man. Same thing with univitata. Seeing where it's native makes me understand why the ones in the Rio Grande Valley are so pissed off. You know, South Texas is such a different climate from here. It's low elevation. And generally hot as balls. What a fucking great species, though. Jesus. You can feel it's kind of scabbard. Look at it. look at the old look at the old leaf scar from where they were uh, pressed together as they were coming out of bud. A bunch of damage here, but it all looks natural. Doesn't look like they were fell in forests. So. God, these fucking forests are just phenomenal, man. I can't get over it. Is this what parts of West Texas looked like during the Pleistocene? Was that a pecan? We have a fucking pecan?
This noisy ass, what is it, a J? It's a J of some kind. I can't tell. Whole flock of them just, just rolled in here, barking their asses off. Hey, we got Vernonia gregii, which is kind of unique uh, for being, well, I think it's endemic to the Sierra Madre, and it grows in the understory of pines. We got both pinyon pines and, I don't know if this is Pinus stroboformis or what species this is. Yeah, see, what are, what are you, what are you mad I'm here? Don't be a dick. I'm not coming to steal any of your pine nuts. And then we got over here, Tagetes lucida, which being a marigold smells fucking divine. The foliage smells absolutely incredible. You can see little orange glands on the side of that involucre. Oh, it smells great. Oh, we seem to have stumbled on some Pizolithus species. Or some sort of other uh, mycorrhizal dead man's foot fungus. That's the mushroom right there. And then it, you can see what it's going for for dispersal. Just the whole thing just comes apart. Go up and eat this pine. It's 6,000 feet. What else? Someone took a shit there. I wonder what that's about. Looks like we're getting into like a sandstone. It's a little bit more barren here. Now, this is an interesting edaphic situation. I wonder if we'll see anything that's too unique. You can see this somewhat unstable soil. There's Dacelerian, Pinus remota, Indigofera. It's just landslide city. You got cows tramping over stuff. To Glandularia. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice and steep. This quirk is... I'm not sure if it's that scrub oak I've been seeing or what. Chrysoctinia? Ooh. Who doesn't love Damianita? Oh. It smells so good. It's probably... It's one of my favorite smells. Oh, who's this? We got a Penstemon. Who's that? Barbados or something? Not any Barbados. Who's this? What penstemon is this? Check out the beard tongue. Check out the staminode. Oh, it's nude. It's a naked staminode. No beard. It's not a beard tongue. Got Chaptalia in the background over there. Got Sarcocarpus. What is it? Forstedy anus or Forstedy? Whatever the shit. Forstead something. Or is that macrocarpus? I don't know. Aside from that, it's just uh, a lot of Dacelerian. Which is probably appreciating the exposure granted to it by this swiftly eroding hillside. I wonder if this is gypsum or what? It's just a softer rock. Roos virens. Yeah, we're going to head back up. There's a Spanish moss and fruit. There's a fruit capsule of Tillandsia usneoides. A little bit more silvery of an ecotype here in Nuevo Leon and you might find in, say, southern Louisiana. Yeah, something came through here. Bad storm and just blew so many damn trees over. This is not human. Look at that. This is not human-caused disturbance. See, they got the sign that says, don't dump trash, and then they got all the trash. So people are listening to the sign. It always bums me out about Mexico. They dump trash in the fucking rivers. Why are you going to do that? Huh? Why are you going to do that? Anyway, uh, this is kind of cool. That's not a pecan I was looking at. It's a fucking walnut. Look at that. Big, juicy walnut. Unless that's a gall. I can't tell. It looks like look, it's actual, actually a walnut. Should have sniffed the leaves. You know, that trash pile looked so good I had to get down in it. On this sketchy, precarious slope. Just kidding. Saw something cool. Saw this cool composite. Some sort of damn Vernonia. 
Camaro Staphylus is aiding me here. Wonderful Madrone relative. Notable for having droops instead of berries. So a single seed in those fruits instead of uh, many. Yeah, see the tarantula hawk likes that plant too. I saw it and I said, what the shit is that? That's notable. Some sort of Renonia relative, Renonioide. Alternate leaves, purple corollas, discoid flowers. And it's growing in a wash, which is might be a giveaway to uh, the fact this needs a lot more moisture than most. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at those beautiful corollas. Nice violet. We got a pseudonephalium here. These always smell so good. <laughs> and this one doesn't smell too good. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell that great. Wonderful limestone here. Oh, it's fucking steep though. Oh, this is cool. We're up on a rock escarpments now. We got some damn polygalaceous thing. Is it a rhinotropus or a, what's the other genus? I always forget. I'm not too jazzed on <laughs> this family. No offense. I always like noting them. There's what the fruits look like. And we got this little guy too, which is quite peculiar. Pubescence on the stem, striations on a corolla, five fused petals, and the uh, opposite leaves. Beautiful habitat and cool thelocactus. Is that what that is? Is that a thelocactus? Look at that. What a weird shape to it. Clumping and beautiful. Looks like someone took a little nibble. We're here at 6,200 feet. Wonderful climate. One just perfect temperature. 